In this Adobe InDesign video, we are going to be uh, talking about a multi-line text field. So similar to this, it's just a text field uh, similar to, uh, you know, ones that you would find in a form here. But these actually only allow for a single line of text. If you go beyond the edge of it, it'll keep the text will keep going off screen. You have to allow scrolling for it to show. Uh, but you can also do a multi-line text, which basically will allow you to uh, have lots of body copy. Notice once I pasted in some lorem ipsum here, it automatically knew to add in a scroll bar and it just allows for multiple lines of text. So let's see how we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and close this out and pop into um, Adobe InDesign. And here it is. Okay. We'll move this signature box out of the way. We've got a label, a uh, text label. We've got basically our decorative frame box here. That's just a rectangle. And then the actual frame itself is the multi-line text box. So in the interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and delete. We all know how to make a, a text box and a basic rectangle. To make the actual um, multi-line text box, I like using a frame. So a frame allows me to actually go in there and it makes the selection a lot easier since I can select by clicking right in the middle. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and open up your buttons and forms. If you don't see the layout that I have, you want to go to Windows, Workspace, and select Advanced. That should give you a similar layout. And to get the buttons and forms, it's Window, Interactive, and then Buttons and Forms. With the frame selected, go ahead and select basically in the Type dropdown. And what we want to do is do a text field. Give this a unique name. I'm going to give this Multi-Line Text. Now, what, I don't have any events here, so obviously you could do events for my advanced form. This is more basic. It is printable. And then what we want to do here is make sure that scrollable is enabled. So if it's a single line, it'll allow you to scroll to the side and also multi-line. So we want to make sure that we have this multi-line checkbox selected here. And that's all you have to do is just to make that. Now, if you want to control the actual font inside of here, you obviously you can get in here. I don't spend a lot of time covering just things that are basic, like, you know, just click in there and select the font you want, like Roboto, for example. And that's it. So let's go ahead and file save. If you haven't saved it, it's going to be file save as, and then file export or control E. When you export, make sure you have Adobe Interactive selected, Adobe PDF Interactive. Click save after you select your location. In my case, I'm overriding a previous form. That's what that pop-up was. This is the export screen. I'm going to make sure I have create tagged PDF here selected. That's the only thing that you need to make sure of. Everything else is fine. It's defaults here and click export. Once it's exports here, it'll pop open in Acrobat Reader or, uh, or Adobe, I'm sorry, in Adobe Reader or Acrobat. And here's our multi-line text. You see, here's that signature field that I moved. Okay. And again, if I paste inside of there, now you notice that because I assigned Roboto, we're getting a different font. Okay. In this case, it did have a little impact here. Okay, notice that we need to make our decorative frame a little bit larger so that that scroll bar will fit inside of there. So that's how you make a multi-line text field.